Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. In the last episode, we were messing with a bathtub when everything changed to the other world. So now we're in the other world at the Hilltop Center, kind of exploring it again, but anew at the same time. And we also met an asshole named Vincent at that mental health clinic. And now we're on the fifth floor. We have various things like some sort of, I think, hydrogen peroxide-esque thing. We also have some liver that we got from a fridge. I don't know what we're going to be doing with all that, but we have a couple more doors to check on the fifth floor, and then I still need to see if I can access the sixth floor from the elevator. So we got two more doors here in this room, and then one down here, one, uh, two more over there. So five doors more in total to check out. We're in what used to be the Gallery of Fine Arts. Oh, hey. I don't like this. This is the painting that was missing. The one about, like, fire. It was missing in the other world, now it's here, and there's a bucket in front of it. I don't like that. Do I have to put something in the bucket? Caption under the picture, Flame Purifies All. By these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I've seen this picture before. No, wait, I've never seen it, but I do know it somehow. By these remains may a person find the road to paradise. I'm definitely supposed to put something in the bucket. Uh, I probably need to make a flame of some sort. Yeah, so... Not the health drink. The Oxydol. Foams when you put it on. I think this... We saw a chemistry textbook that said, like, this sort of... I think it's this sort of thing. It said hydrogen peroxide. This is Oxydol, but maybe it's the same thing, I think. It says something about this mixed with, like, manganese dioxide or something would produce a thing. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Put the pork liver in the bucket. <laughs> Maybe that'll open the painting or something. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't think I have all the parts to do anything with this yet, but I think this is my end goal. It's so cool that the painting that was missing in the other world is now the only painting that's here, and now all the other paintings are missing. Just the inverse of each other. Yep, picture's even marked on the map. Okay, that leaves two doors on this... Oh. Two doors on this floor. Yeah, they're at the end of this hallway up here. they're in a cage. I wish pausing it made the sounds go away. So I was saying that their, uh, their mouths sort of reminded me of horses. Now that I've looked at them a bit more, their skulls remind me of horses and they sort of sound like they're making clomping noises. Fuck, they have hooves for hands, don't they? Ugh. God, do I hate them. What's the point of this? There's nothing I can do in here. I'm getting the hell out of here. Cigarette. In that bowl, I think. That's cigarette smoke. I 
Matchbook. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to be starting a fire in that bucket. No more cigarettes for me. I quit for good. Okay. So yeah, I, I definitely don't still have everything I need, though. I think. Let me try the sixth floor. Please work, please work. Doesn't work. Okay, then... Do I have everything for the bucket? Let's go try to mix some Oxydol and, and matches. Oh my god. I actually did need to use the pork liver. Pork liver plus Oxydol plus matchbook. Why did I need the pork liver? I read that chemistry book more closely. Oh. Oh, fuck. I went through it? I thought I was gonna, like, take something out of it. Like it was a cabinet. Uh. It's this thing again. This undulating thing with that creepy picture of a smiling face. I recognize that picture, by the way. I think they used it in Alcamilla. Uh, not the hospital, but the, the free source engine um, adventure based on Silent Hill. I think they used that exact image. Someone's been hanged. They look dead, all right. And all the other pictures look like pictures of... Like the side of someone's head, like their ear, with blood coming out of the ear. these papers. The priestess accepted the king's request and went to the village gates, but when she saw the monster she tried to convince it with words instead of killing it. Shut up you, I'm going to eat you up. The monster didn't listen to a word the priestess said, but she kept trying to convince the monster to give up. It's wrong to eat people, you know. The monster grew very angry at this, and attacked her, killing her with a single mighty blow. <laughs> no beginning and no ending. I really didn't understand that story. Probably just some pages torn off, uh, torn out from the middle of a book. Yeah, I don't think so. I think there's something to it. I think it might be talking about that massive monster that I was too scared to approach on the first floor? I think it was the first floor. That even says monster. It must be talking about it. So what can I take from that then? Don't try to convince it with words. Try to convince it with words instead of killing it. Didn't listen. Killing her with a single mighty blow. Um... I guess I just need to probably... There'll probably be an insta-death if I get too close to it, and I probably need to kill it somehow. Clomp, mm. mm. clomp. Where are we? Oh, we're on the fourth floor. Okay, right. We could get to the fourth floor, but we couldn't actually get into any of the doors. How do I know when it's going to do that versus when I can kick it?
Oh god. Holy shit, there's a- Oh my god. Okay, shotgun. Definitely shotgun time. There's four of them. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god, die. They're horses, they really are horses. Oh my god, please. These things are tricky. I've got so many medkits. I think they're the second most disturbing monster design in this game, with number one being those massive, massive tall things with the exposed bones and the just bulbous, cancerous limbs. Is it alive? Ah. Sneaky little shit. Okay, pretty much out of pistol ammo. Let's go back to the shotgun. How am I doing on that? 22 plus 6 shots, 28. Okay, not bad. Pretty good on shotgun ammo. Maybe I should just run past them? I don't know. There's too much here to explore, though, for me to just run past them, right? That's what I felt like. Because it's not just like one tiny room or something. Ooh. Ah, oh, right. That'll take me to the main lobby. this room. I mean, I don't like any room, but... This feels like a trap. Oh, there's a hole. <laughs> it is a trap, sorta. What the hell? Yeah, they're maybe aiming the shotgun at the enemy. Heather's real bad at aiming the shotgun. Back to the handgun, actually. <laughs> Had to add on to the architecture there on the map. Wait a sec. Oh, okay. I, th I thought there was a door on the map that wasn't in the world, but nope. Huh. 
I might try to run past these. Maybe. Just to see how it works out. I have a lot of healing items, but not like a super amount of ammo. So I kind of want to try to conserve a little bit. Oh, wait. I think they're behind the thing. They might be safe. Maybe. No. Hmm. Silver coin. The lamp shining on some old silver coins I know I've seen before. I got one earlier, so I shouldn't really take any more. I mean, I'm no thief. I might act like one now and then, though. It's a bunch of bloody bits of money here, too. Bloody cash. No, forget about it. Hold on, want to make sure I don't miss any slightly ajar drawers with extremely small activation trigger spots that has a rope in it that I need to progress in the game. No, I'm not bitter at all. Ooh. Something written on the wall. Thus one's life turns to riches. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. What? Yet fate hath no price. Ah, but do people know this? What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. I'm going to check out that silver coin in a second. Just a plain old vending machine. This one is selling canned drinks. Come to think of it, I am kind of thirsty. I'd feel weird drinking anything sold in a place like this, though. It's about the size of a quarter. I get the feeling it's really old. Huh. I got a life insurance key. Is, is this text on the wall, though, trying to tell me to use the coin? Because if it is, it's doing a pretty bad job of it. What was a bag of silver coins is now the number in a book. I can't see how that would be telling me to use it on the vending machine. Now the number in a book. I mean, all I got was a key to a life insurance company. That has nothing to do with a book. Maybe it... I don't know, maybe it means something else. Can I take another one now? Don't need any more coins. Okay. Huh. So, what floor is the life insurance company on? One Stop Imports. That's the only business on the fourth floor. Monica's Dance Studio, Law Firm, Water Glass, Geological Survey, DD Ad. Is it on the first floor or something? Interiors, Mental Health Clinic, Last Drop Cafe. Oh, yep, there it is, Alberton. Elberton Life Insurance, and there's a locked door right down there. Okay. Ugh.
I know I ran past it before, but now that I've learned that if you try to run past... I just heard a... Is that a dog? Yeah, now that I've learned that if you try to run past them, they just grab you by the feet and do damage to you, stop you. I guess I pretty much have to shoot them unless I can give them a wide berth, but I can't in these hallways. Four shots, again. Back to the shotgun. Yeah, is there a dog in this hallway now? That's it for this floor, so I just need to get back, which I can do through this now unlocked door right here to get to the elevator room. So definitely going to run right now. those things, God damn it! I'm gonna try to avoid them as much as possible, but I'm probably gonna have to kill them if they're in the hallway, which I'm sure they are, unless they're behind some fence thing. I wonder if they can be distracted with... That might have just answered my question. I wonder if they can be distracted with jerky. It sounds like they're eating jerky, but I don't think it's one of the dogs. I guess horse monsters like jerky too. design really is so good. You go into a place like this, and even before entering it, I was hearing sounds of, like, drills and surgical equipment and stuff. This is the end of that crappy fairy tale I found. Oh. Yay. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them, and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Sounds like Latin. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry, and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Uh-oh. Tu fui ego eris. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that?
Hmm. I really don't want to go back out here. <sighs> They're gone. They were here. Bunch of junk blocking my way. It's gone. When Heather said it out loud, even in that room, it made it disappear. Didn't have to even say it right in front of it, it's just gone. That's what that noise was. Can't read that on the ground. to this world? Yeah. Okay, that's more pleasant. My apartment is the other way. Yes, yeah, so we're on the street out front of the hilltop center. to do in this building. I have to get home. <sighs> Don't have a map of this area. Wait, so where do I go? Down this alleyway? Okay. Daisy Villa Apartments. Yeah, that's what my key's for. I was thinking if we ever got back to our apartment, it would be the end of the game, but this definitely isn't. That's not my place. Just a dust chute, nothing to worry about. Don't need to use the elevator, my apartment is number 102 on the ground floor. Okay. I can't actually see the apartment numbers though, so I just gotta try them all. This is the stairway, don't need that. Apartments 102. Mailbox is empty. But this is my place, why should I leave the apartment? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's the front door. That's gotta be your place. 